It's July 21st, 2019. Um, it's been pretty warm and sunny here in Seattle. Let's start the update over here with the uh, ficus tree. You can see it's doing really well actually. There's a lot of new leaves coming out. And down here we have the succulents looking good. And then the uh, frizzle thistle. Um, if you look closely at the base of the plant, um, you can see some structure forming, and I think that's probably flower. So yeah, um, I read online they usually flower during the winter, so that's kind of weird. And here we have the tomato. You can see the plant is getting a little messy. Um, and down here we have just some of the tomatoes uh, fruits maturing. Here we have the lavender. You can see all the new flowers coming up. Um, rosemary, not too much to talk about. Same here. And down here we have the wildflowers. You can see the they're they're all doing pretty well. Um, the California poppy, you can see it's still flowering. And here we have the peony and the green onion. If you look closely at the base of the plant, you can see the plant has officially split into two. Pretty interesting. And here we have the succulents. They're all adapting pretty well. And the pineapple is doing pretty well too. You can see this leaf is getting a lot longer, which means it's uh, the growth is speeding up. And here we have the other succulents. You can see this one is going crazy with all the new growth. Mulberry looks pretty much the same. Um, don't see any new flowers or fruits anymore. Dahlia, you can see it's still sending out some new flowers. And these older flowers are just fading away now. Um, here we have the lily of the valley. Um, the fruits or seed pods you can see are still around. And these leaves over here are badly damaged by um, black vine weevils. So yeah, they're still around the garden. Blueberries, um, doing pretty well, but if you look on the floor, you can see a lot of uh, fallen fruits. Um, still not sure why exactly they're um, dropping all the fruits. This is the harvest I've done on Tuesday, July 16th. On the left, you can see it's uh, all the fallen fruits I collected, and on the right are the fruits I harvested from the bush. And this is the harvest I did today, July 21st. Right here on the top you can see a little mulberry fruits that I harvested as well. So yeah, we have yeah a lot of blueberries to go through. And over here we have the ka lily. Um, you can see this flower over here. And a weird insect climbing out. Down here is the older flower. Um, you can see it's turning yellow, um, so it's uh, pollinated and it's going to set fruit soon. Over here we have the strawberries. You can see this plant over here is sending up some flowers, which is nice. That's exactly what I want these strawberries to do. Um, but it seems like this is the only plant that's uh, flowering right now. And the other plants, like these ones, are just sending out runners, which is undesirable. So yeah, I might need to look into how to stimulate uh, strawberry flowers. Here we have the blueberry, and here we have the hydrangea. You can see this oldest bush is um, still sending out flowers. And then down here, the second oldest bush, the flowers are kind of turning green. It happens um, after the flower has been out for a while. Over here we have the asparagus. You can see I propped it up with some sticks. And the plain corpses. You can see the, a lot of flowers. And I've been seeing a lot of bees and insects around these flowers. So that's great. Over here we have the raspberry. You can see these ones. Um, the flowers are, has opened. Um, haven't been observing bees around these flowers yet, but I'm guessing they have been around already. 
and here on this branch there's a lot more flowers you can see right there so yeah i'm excited for another round of um, raspberry harvest over here we have the grapes um, there's not too much to talk about really um, and then down here we have the rhubarb not too much to talk about either and the potatoes look pretty much the same to me it has stopped flowering though and here we have the artichoke you can see the flower is opening up right now um, I decided not to harvest these one and I want to see the artichoke flower open hopefully we'll be able to attract some bees too which is always a plus As for the indoor garden, um, this succulent over here, you can see this flower stem is actually sending out the baby plants on one of the nodes. Which is interesting. Um, I've never seen this before. I'm not sure if it's a, a, a usual thing. But yeah, you can see a baby plant on this node. And on the end of the flower stalks are some flower buds. You can see this flower. But then the other flowers are probably not going to open up. Looks like they have they have uh, dried up. Right here we have the orchids. Um, you can see the Venus slipper orchid flowers are coming out from the little um, shell thing. So yeah, I'm very excited for these two flowers to open. Down here we have more orchids. You can see this one is looking very healthy with all the new growths and root growths. Over here we have the mini oncidium. Let's check on the little flower spike. Yeah, the flower spike is uh, getting a lot, uh, a little bigger. Here's another mini oncidium. Don't think it's uh, doing too much. And another orchid. Turn around here, we can see the string of pearls. Um, I think it's uh, doing too much right now. And then the Philanopsis orchid over here, you can see this uh, new leaf is getting bigger. And this uh, flower spike, um, still about the same size, and lots of new roots coming out. Down here, we have the stack on fern. Um, all the leaves are looking really healthy. You can see this leaf especially is impressive. And I've taken down the um, other stacking fern I mounted. You can see right there is another shield frond coming out from the base of the plant. Tiny little shield frond. And this is the first shield frond I've seen. It's getting a lot bigger. And you can see it's uh, kind of hugging onto the medium on the base. Not like tightly though, but it's definitely hugging it. So you can see kind of a shape of the surface, like right here. Um, let's just look a little closer at the new growths. Just I think the structures are very interesting. Look at this little new shield front coming out. Over here we have another orchid. Um, I broke the glass dome, so I need to water this more often to keep it moisturized. Um, here we have some more plants, nothing too much really. Right here we have just more succulents. Um, don't think there's too much to talk about either. And here we have the Hoya plant. It's doing really well, as you can see. Let's look at the new growth. Yeah, you can see it's getting longer now. Um, and the leaves are getting bigger. Don't see any flower buds though. I really wish we can see some Hoya flowers. Spider plants, you can see it's sending out some more flower spikes. So yeah, it's gonna send out more flowers. Prayer plants, you can see 
more flowers right here and I think there's another one over here so yeah it's just still flowering and sending out new growth and the philodendron the vines are getting impressive 